good morning folks welcome back to the channel we are not on the farm today we are headed to Lincoln Nebraska for an air show Kelly's driving which is my favorite way to travel so come along for the ride I think it's going to be a fun day Well, we made it. We're on our long walk in. <laughs> Kelly came prepared. She brought a wagon, newly acquired. It's going to work out good for softball games and stuff, too. And we bought new chairs yesterday. So the air show flying doesn't start till 11 so before then we can go around and look at these static display planes because we got about an uh, hour and a half two hours looks like a c5 galaxy maybe and then a b52 and then a c130 Got an old Air Force One there, and then two, I believe, KC-135 air tankers. My uncle, Carl, was actually on one of these planes in the Vietnam War, the refueling planes. If you look way over there, that's Fat Albert. That is the Blue Angels cargo plane, the C-130 cargo plane. Super cool. The C5 Galaxy is just massive. You can literally drive a truck in the back of this thing. That is amazing how this thing even gets off the ground. Here's a better look at the B-52. When I was a kid, these things used to fly over my house. We lived uh, north of an Air Force base out in California. Down the line here, where we've got our spot right on the flight line here. You can see some of the different jets. There's several jet demos today, and the Blue Angels lined up down there. And then a couple other jets being towed into the flight line here. Airport crash truck. Seem to look at the front of that C5 Galaxy. the front end of the B-52. It's amazing how long of that plane has been flying. It was designed 1948 and I think first flown 1952, which is a crazy long length of service for an airplane. But if you're an enemy of the United States, that view right there would not be a good one. Now we used to go to air shows quite often out in California. There was lots of them to choose from, but we have yet to hear about one here since we've been in Nebraska. And then I heard about the show here in Lincoln, probably the only show they have in Nebraska. But uh, we jumped on the chance to come because there's lots and lots of jet demos. And that's the thing you want to look for when you're looking for an air show is how many jet demos they have because a lot of them won't have very many and it'll all be like prop planes and stuff which is also super cool but until you've seen a jet demo you haven't seen nothing that up close and personal F-18 Growler here and then that's a T-35 those jets right there, every fighter pilot has to train in one of those before they can move on to any other jets. That's the trainer jet right there. A couple A-10 Thunderbolts here. It's like my second favorite jet fighter. 
My first favorite was the F4 Phantom, but those are no longer in service. But uh, these planes are known as tank killers and close air support jets, short stubby wings, and they're best known for this giant Gatlin gun here on the front. They say this plane was built around that gun. Other jets say they're jets with a gun. This is a gun with a jet. Another C-130, this one's out of Texas Air National Guard. These planes can land on the shortest and roughest of airstrips. The big props up here, you can turn those props backwards and actually push the plane, uh, push the air forward so this plane can slow down really quickly. The F-16 up close and personal. I believe it's a 16. I always get the 15s and the 16s mixed up. But it looks like a 16. Some helicopters. Not sure the uh, model of that one there. But uh, the Blackhawk right here. And they let you get in and climb around in them. And then a Chinook over there. The Chinooks have been in service for a very long time too. We used to call those egg beater helicopters. Now this is Bruce. He's the pilot of this plane here. It's uh, Newport 28. Uh, he was explaining to me how this was made in France because uh, we didn't have the capacity to build planes after World War. Was it before World War II or, or one or after? It's World War One. World War One. Yeah. So we bought these planes from France. And a uh, pretty neat little plane. Uh, Bruce built this thing itself, refurbished it. Pretty neat. The little Vans RV4. That'd be a fun little plane to fly. Probably going to be one of the performers here today. Uh, a lot of these static displays, they actually go out and fly later. Here's a couple crop dusters. Very aerobatic, powerful, capable planes. See a lot of these here in Nebraska when the fields get too wet to be in they call out the Air Force or well, the Agricultural Air Force now this is an old two-seater this was a trainer for World War II uh, the Stearman made by Boeing you had to uh, graduate this plane here before you got to fly one of these over here. We'll go take a look at those over there. But look at the uh, radial engine here. Instead of like the pistons being up, this has pistons all the way around the motor. It's called a radial engine. So this one's got uh, seven pistons on it. A couple old aircraft here. I don't know the make and model of these. You can see the tricycle landing gear. So if you've ever heard uh, the saying a three-point landing, that means when you come down and land and all three wheels hit at the same time. Now that's not ideal. You'd rather have the rear wheels hit just a little bit before the nose wheel, of course. There's an old Taylor craft here. They still flew these in Vietnam as like patrol planes, scout planes. Very capable aircraft. Very lightweight easy to take off and land with these. This is a beautiful P-51. These were one of the fastest prop planes made back in the day. This is a Grumman Hellcat. Extensively used by the Navy in World War II. Off the carriers. Not sure of the uh, makes of these planes here for their World War II era planes. I was beginning to wonder if they had one of these. This is my favorite World War II plane, the F4U Corsair, made by the Vought Sikor Sikorsky Company. I used to love watching the show all about black sheep with Robert Conrad back in the day when I was a little kid. 
and the movie was called The Flying Misfits. If you get a chance to see that movie, it's a wonderful movie. A couple P-51 Mustangs out there. The, uh, the Blues Row there and some other jets down the way. All these planes are going to fly today in the demonstration. So yeah, that's my favorite prop plane. I'm just guessing, but I'm thinking this plane's from Nebraska. Kelly's over here holding down the fort, so nobody took our front row seat. All right, folks, let the show begin. Sound of freedom, folks. There's a girl flying that thing.
think of that, babe? Six are rolling. Blue Angel number five will complete the dirty roll on takeoff. While Blue Angel number six executes a for some.
while to get out of that parking lot, but we are back on the interstate on a three hour drive home. I'm gonna take my lovely wife to dinner. We hope you enjoyed the air show as much as we did. And uh, till next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. Come back and see us here on Mark Kelly Farm. Thanks for watching. Thank you.